the last time you went to church and you were pushing everything you you put the breast the breast came out and you adjusted it it came out you know it only a movie to come out you you are wearing an attire of your lord and when you came you were just trying to let them let them see me now let them there's no glory you just want them to see something strange went to one i don't want to say the state i went to preach a very strange place my brothers i end up not being able to preach my sermon because i don't know what i did to the people they arranged ladies on the front and these are campus this is a campus where you know campus that is ravaging with all kinds of spirit and i'm coming to challenge those spirit and the first trap they arrange ladies with their tires of the harlot. And immediately, you know, the way the hall leads into a strange hall. I was down, they were up, you know. I knew I was in trouble. All this kind of lecture theater that they put. So you will be, the lecturer will be down. People will be sitting like this. So now they brought a preacher and they put me in the lecture theater with women with their attire of harlot. And they put them on the front row. So when I sing to ascend, as I open my eye, I behold. The what? When I turn this way, another. I turn here, problem. I turn here, problem. Hey! I say, let's stand up. Let's let's stand up. Let's. I have to preach. They are telling me you have to sit down. When they sit down, of course, strange. Some of them, the leg is closer, but they open it for me. I turn here, problem. I turn here, problem. The lady may not be a harlot, but she wear the attire. At that point, there was something the lady wanted. So you must be able to understand. You don't have to behave like a prostitute to get a man. You don't have to behave like a harlot. Because you now become a strange, a spirit is influencing you. So Solomon why did Queen Sheba slept with Solomon? Hmm. You will not understand the way of the maiden and the maid. You won't understand the way of a man and the maid. It was only Solomon that knew what Sheba did. If you go and study it, you will discover she came and wore the attire of a harlot and she got him. Because Solomon knew that when love is tear up in him, it's a problem. Many of you knew that on your own you may not do nothing, but when things are stirred up, when there is a progression, and it doesn't matter whether she's an old woman that is older than your mother, something just go beyond it. Amen? That is the parable of a strange woman. And you have seen her characteristics. There is another parable of another that is not a strange now we can go to proverb 31 is that okay so if you are not a proverb 31 woman you are what you are proverb chapter 7 woman with the attire of a looking for how wisdom will behold you wisdom passed by you open here he didn't see you turn like this he didn't see you do like this oh god what the other day we were praying in a prayer meeting we had hands. All kinds of manipulation was going on. I turned at the leader. I said, let it be this way they do. Allow the men to ascend. The men can't ascend. Let's help ourselves. If you discover there is a cloth in a garment of the attire of a harlot, just know that you are going to cause more problems. Because there are some of these men that are void of understanding. They will make them fall for nothing. And you can't find a husband like that. That's what I wanted to know. You can't find a, a useless escapade. No man you get by seduction will remain. He will remain. When he's done, he will go. Because even you yourself, you know that it is not real. It's a lie. Proverbs chapter 31. Let me see how I will find my launching part. So we have listed the characteristics of the other one. Let's see the other one so that we, we are done. Please. Proverbs chapter 31. Do we really have time to read much? I want to pick up few characteristics. Let's see if we can start from one and see, right? 
like I said, the beautiful part of the, the, the strange woman is that God can still use a strange woman. Is that okay? When you go and read about the story of Rahab, you read the book of Joshua chapter 2, verse 9 to 13, right? You are going to see that Rahab was what? A prostitute. Although she was a prostitute, a strange woman, yet again God used her. Is that true? God see user. In fact, the Bible said that she knew by revelation in the book of Joshua chapter 2 verse 9 to 13 that Rahab knew by revelation that God has given the land to Israel. So because she knew by revelation, she positioned herself for when the spies would come. And when the spy came, she partnered with them and helped them. And because she helped them, she got her redemption. It means that although she was a strange woman, she still found redemption. It doesn't matter how strange you are. It is still possible to see fire redemption. Why? Because although Rahab was a prostitute, according to the context of scripture, she was not supposed to be so. In fact, she was innocently a prostitute. And by the help of God, she was able to find redemption. I don't know what happened, how those spy men came and helped her. But I'm telling you, when you read the book of Matthew, Rahab was part of the genealogy of Jesus. How can a prostitute, a strange woman, be now added into the genealogy? It means that there is even still hope for even a strange woman. Are you with me now? Proverbs chapter. That means a strange woman can now become this. Proverbs chapter 7 woman can become Proverbs chapter 31. The word of the king, the Moab, right? The prophecy that is more than 13. So, mothers, can you teach your children something? What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vow. Give not thy strength unto women, not thy ways to that which destroy kings. Am I the one that said it's his mother? I don't know who is his mother, but she's the one that said that women destroy kings. Let me say, part upon which destroy kings. Advance. It is not for kings. Oh, no, sorry. She was talking about wine first. It is not for kings. It is not. It's not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink. Advance. Lest you drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Yes. Give strength, give strong drink unto that him that is ready to perish. And wine unto those that be of heavy heart. There is a guy that told me that wine. I had to say somebody say wine is not a sin. The Bible says if you are ready to perish, we should give you wine. So do you want to perish? So you keep on drinking. It means it's your part of perishing. You go 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 carry me go go go. May you not marry a man like that. Yes, let's advance. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. <laughs> Open thy mouth. For the dumb, for the dumb in the course of all such are put, appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the needy. Eh? Now we are going to where we like, right? Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above ruby? The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. So that she shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Do you see now this is more opposite of the other one, right? 